That's all I got to say. Hey, this is Jess, and I'm here with Lisa, who is a trainer at a local gym in an effort to get our community up and moving during our quarantine time. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Jess. How are you? Great. How are you? Uh, what are you going to have us do, and is it going to hurt? No, well, it might hurt, but if it hurts, it won't kill you. Um, just a quick little thing, you know, and we're all stuck. We all should be stuck at home uh, trying to figure out what to do with ourselves and maybe thinking this would be a good time to just maybe learn an exercise or to just get moving on a regular basis and it doesn't have to be fancy. It doesn't have to be um, with a lot of stuff. It's just you, yourself, and you. And um, you'll be surprised what your body will feel like. You'll be surprised what your energy feels like. And it just connects the mind and the body. And that's really a really important thing right now because we're dealing with so much. So perfect. Not fancy, not a lot of stuff. Getting moving. Just, just, just start, just do something. Um, so I'm going to address this, this, anybody who wants to just give this stuff a whirl, you can do it. You're going to modify it, uh, to your own level of fitness. Um, I'm not going to get into too much of that because that's not, you know, it's going to take too much time. However, I got Jess here who is a very willing participant. So she's going to be a trooper and demonstrate some of the things so that you can see that uh, she's going to be fine. She's going to do great. And uh, she may even want to do these again on her own time. So um, you ready, Jess? I am. Okay. Um, first thing we're going to do is the most important thing is I don't care what you've just been doing. You want to take a deep breath. You want to just stand nice and tall and just open up the chest and the arms and just inhale and blow it out as you exhale. Go ahead, Jess. Give me three of those. Nice inhales and exhale as you come down. And as you're inhaling, you're lifting the chest and the heart follows the chest, right? Give me one more. All right. You're going to do this with me. You're not getting off scot free. This is your 10 minute workout too. All right, Jess. Sometimes if I, we'll end up doing a lot more if I get into it. Uh, and we got a couple dogs that want to join in. I may have some pets. Oh, I think, oh, you can't see Pepper. Anyway. Um, all right. So, <laughs> okay, hang on. Sorry, we're improvising already. Okay. okay. You go. I'll talk to you later. Okay. <laughs> inhale, Fargo. Inhale, exhale. Every time you inhale, you bring the chest up. Shoulders just rise. You're just getting some a little bit of oxygen to the muscles, which is always the most important thing when you're starting to exercise, is just bring oxygen to your large muscle groups. When we're sedentary, everything lives <laughs> torso okay oh, yeah. we don't get deep breaths our our limbs sometimes we get cold hands and cold feet because everything centralizes around the important part of our body which is where <laughs> the important organs and muscles are okay we done? two second break hang on one sec stay there we're still recording okay Marco, are you good okay he's good he's good now we're good Okay, so we've done that. So we bring in some air. So now I gotta get those legs moving. So this is simple. You're just gonna march in place. It seems simple, but it actually feels really good to just be tall. Relax the shoulders, right? Just bring the knees up. I'm gonna walk back a little bit. You wanna bring the knees up towards the chest. You wanna dry them up. Just bend breathing. Now, we used to dance like this in the 90s. Jog, and that's fine too. Just jog it out. It's, just getting the heart rate up is all you're doing, okay? You're gonna keep that up. I just need my timer. You just wanna jog, get yourself going. We wanna do five good minutes of just bringing the blood. Oh my God, five minutes. Huh? Five minutes? All right, well, we're, that's what everyone else is gonna do. If for the, in the interest of time, uh, we might just cut this a little short, but that's what you're gonna do. You're gonna just start bringing oxygen to your, bar, your body parts. Okay. <laughs> All the parts. All right, let's give me another. Let's give me another thirty seconds here, and then we're gonna start into some squats. Jess is gonna finish those. I'm gonna set up a squat. Okay. I'll tell you what. I got a timer. You can't cheat. You got twenty-five seconds, and then you're gonna slow it down, and you're gonna grab a chair. I don't care. It's a chair. You just wanna make sure that your hips. You have something to sit on. All right. So you're, I'm gonna show you my lateral view, okay? Hands can be here, hands can be here, or hands can be here. Just keep your chest up. Everybody sit in your chair. 
Nice and tall, chest is lifted, shoulders are dropped. You're just gonna hinge into hinges at the waist. Hinge in your heels, you're gonna stand up and squeeze your booty. Bring your hips underneath you, and then push them back and sit back down. Squeeze and drop. Squeeze and drop. Keep it going, Jess. I'm gonna watch you. There you go. That's it. You wanna just, your feet are hip to shoulder width apart, toes are a little bit turned out, and your chest stays tall because you don't want to come down like this. You want to keep your chest tall and dig into your heels. Everything's in your heels, no toes. Okay, how's this looking? Looking Pretty good, Jess. Oh. Perfect. How do you feel already? You feel the blood kind of moving a little bit in the oxygen? I feel out of breath and my butt is burning from squeezing. And this is your booty workout. <laughs> Just squeeze that booty. It is the largest, most powerful muscle in your body. Use it. It gets so deactivated for everybody. Squats are a beautiful, beautiful exercise. Do them. You got five seconds, Jess. Good. You want to feel the glutes squeeze as you come through and reach back and drop. And shake them. it off. I'm not feeling them. Ooh, good. I'm feeling Take it off, Jess. That means wrap it up on the squat. We're going to change it up. Okay. Okay. Just step back. All I want you to do is we're going to do a lateral movement with your hands. If you have something to hold, go for it. If not, then don't. Then just keep your hands up. Always chest up, shoulders down. You're going to step to the side. Can you see me? Just step to the side. Just step, drop into your heel. Keep this leg long. Bring it back. Drop into the heel. Bring it back. Drop into the heel. Bring it back. Okay, that's it. You're keeping that opposite leg. You feel a little stretch in the groin. Pushing back into the hip, into the booty. Keeping the knee over top of the ankle, always. Squats do not, should not stress your knees at all. Ooh, these really hurt right here. Yeah. So chest loose then try to keep that other leg a little straight and the, the toes are forward. Not gonna obsess over these, but these are little things that are gonna protect your joints. Three more, three. And I guess the benefit is if you haven't been moving before, is to just get out of your chair and whether you're doing it right or wrong, you're doing something. So that's great. Good. We're going to switch sides now. I'm just jogging to stay moving. If you like to stay moving, you know, if you need a rest, you always take a rest. Pay attention to your body. Otherwise, we're going to go to my right, wherever you're going. Sink into the booty. Chest up. Sink into the booty. Sink into the booty. My chest is in the rope. Good. That's the most important thing is that your toes stays in this direction, forward facing. The hips go back into the heel and you push off and you keep your chest tall. That way you engage your core. You'd be surprised, a squat, this is a side squat. That's what it is. So you need to keep it really your does get your heart pumping. Yeah. It feels and, cool. and I don't even need any weights or anything like that. Well, you don't need them. If you want them, just do light if you've never done it before. I always say start with body weight. Your body's enough to get you started. Three more, three, two, and one, okay? Bring your heart rate down if it's up to, if you're, if you're breathy, but can talk, you're fine. We're gonna, this, we're, gonna get into match. we're gonna get into push-ups. Yes, I said push-ups, yes I did. You got this, Jess. Push-ups are easy because you're gonna do them to the level that you're able. Because the most important thing about a push-up is how you do them in proper form, okay? So if, this, if this modification is challenging, you're gonna start with a plank. Good, Jess, get down. So let me see. Turn to the side so I can see your lateral view. Or my <laughs> lateral view. Okay, good. So this is something everyone can do. So Jess, I'm gonna see what this, pull the hips, they line up with the shoulders. The belly is pushed into the spine. So you feel your booty tuck a little. And let's see what you got. Bend the elbows, bring the chest down. I don't care how low you go. Just push and push back. Push those hips up, push the hips up. Hips are low, there it is, that's your plank. Push, there you go. So what I would do for you, I need the modified version. I'm gonna give you a modification. That's not easy, that's the hardest thing ever, it's your whole body. You can use a wall and walk your feet back. But see, you don't wanna see this. You wanna see this, and you wanna bend the elbows, bring the chest in, push back, okay? Oops. Use a wall. Okay. You can use, I'm, I don't know if you can see me. I don't have a wall that, oh, you I can use the, the uh, chair. 
oh, that thing moves, doesn't it? See, these are little, these are little details, Jess. These are things that I didn't know how to do. Good. Okay, just bend the elbows, bring the chest in, push it back. Don't drop your, keep your shoulders down. So bring your hands a little lower, actually. Okay. Okay, just, all you want to do is you don't want the hips to sag forward. You don't want to feel tension in your little back. Don't worry about hitting the wall. You can if you want, but just keep your head forward. Don't tip it back. Drop your forehead. You would rather your forehead hit than your chin. Okay? So find your, you find your neutral gaze. We're going to move on past that one and, oh, I could do it at the desk. There we go. I was just, I was trying to say, but yep. <laughs> sorry. Bring your shoulders down, let the chest come in between your um, elbows and get straight, <sighs> blow it out. Okay. You never want to feel your back sagging. So I would, I always tell people, start with sets of 10, do 10. Okay, if you can do more, do 10 to 20 and do them all day long. Okay. That's okay. it. All back. Stretch out those shoulders. That's intense for some people. That feels like a lot. I got two more exercises. Are we good for time? Yep. Two more. more. All right. Can you get, get on the floor, Jess? Okay. Can you see the floor? I can see yes. the floor. See my floor? My floor. Okay. On the floor. Okay. Can you see me? I can. Okay. You're gonna lie flat. You're gonna keep your knees up. Okay. This might be the most comfortable thing you do. Uh, this is take a deep breath, blow the air out so you feel your belly push into the floor. Um, you're gonna squeeze your glutes, push the heels down, and lift your hips up and squeeze your booty. Okay. Hold it for like a quick second. I hate these. Huh? Oh, I don't like these. Okay, but, but in order, remember, flatten out the back, squeeze the booty so it tilts the pelvic up well. It's really a posterior tilt. And push through the heels and lift your hips and squeeze. You'll feel it in your hammies, your glutes. And it's called a hip bridge. This is very basic, but one of the best exercises. I have everybody do this in some form. Lift and squeeze. You feel that in your booty? Cooper. <laughs> How you doing? Oh, I can see dogs. <laughs> okay, what's the last activity? Okay, so final one is in that same position. Elbows up, knees up. This is called tabletop. Okay. We're back on the floor again? Yeah, you're going to do a dead bug. Okay. These okay. are called dead bugs. You're going to love these. You're going to push the stomach down and you're going to flatten out. So push the belly into the spine. You're going to keep the knees over the hips. Elbows are up in front. Find your focal point of the ceiling and you're just going to extend one side. Okay, this is a, this is a little quick series of abdominal exercises. Push, extend. Bring the knee to the elbow. Don't wing out. Don't be out here. You want to Reach the elbow for the knee and the knee for the elbow. The other side stays static. Okay. You feel that a little bit? Yes, ma'am. No twisting. No twisting. Tuck your elbows in. Tuck them in. And reach. Yeah, right, there it is. Three more and then switch side. You, now the, you can see, Jeff, the hardest thing to do is static on the other side. Now you're going to switch sides. So do 10 and 10, okay? That's your number. That's your basic starting number with everything is always 10. Do 20 or 7. Is that if you can't keep up, then you just take a break. <laughs> or do more. These are the exercises. You take them to the level that feels good. But these are all great for hip mobility, which is really important. Okay. Other side, you would do the same. Push. Ah. Don't do what I just did. So when you stabilize, when I'm stabilizing my right side like this, that means I'm engaging my core and it doesn't move. But if you don't, if you find this too hard to do, stick a towel or a pillow and push into that. That'll help. Okay. All right. There you go. <laughs> um, okay. So anyway, that's just basic, simple, seemingly 
Uh, exercises that hit every muscle in your body, bring blood flow and oxygen. Here comes my little uh, guide. <laughs> yeah, and you don't need any equipment. Not we really. I mean, you can add Exactly. And, we um, didn't use one kettlebell. We didn't use one anything except for just our own body and, weight. And, so. and you should, I mean, are you going to like lose 20 pounds from that? No, that's not really? the point. Sorry. Um, if you did it four times a day, every day, maybe. Um, we didn't even, how long were we doing that? I don't know. It seemed like three hours. It's <laughs> <laughs> timing us, but like, uh, I, my clock is not even at 12 minutes yet. So, okay. So, anyway. That's it. I mean, simple stuff. The most important thing is the more we sit, the more our hips and glutes deactivate. That is the most, that is a very important function of your body. So it's a very functional thing to do squats, hip thrusts, um, push-ups are great for the whole upper body and the core. Just get all your body parts moving. That's the most important. Yeah, even thing. just that beginning where we were just doing some high knee marching, that was like already I was out of breath and I felt my body, my entire body from my fingertips to my toes kind of got warm. So yeah. it's as if the blood was like going places. So that's good. Yeah. I mean, if you feel like you're just in this zombie state, like I find myself staring out the window, like, is it time for bed yet? You know, it's just, we're, our bodies are just bored, our minds are bored. So it just, I mean, I exercise every day and I, I do my best to take care of myself, but even just what we just did now, I just feel like, like yes. that. And, and as far as like eating and drinking, I'm personally gonna try my hardest to curtail on the alcohol. And um, as far as eating goes, I'm cooking healthier and better and more often than ever. So I hope people are taking the opportunity to, you know, shop a little healthier and cook a little healthier because we all have more time to make a salad. So many times we don't eat salad because nobody had time to cut the lettuce. A little tip I have, which I actually do, and I actually did it very mindfully today. I, I can be honest and say it's not every day, but I got, I got myself thinking that I have probably a good 30 days left of no work. So it's just so easy. My, I've already feel myself kind of, uh, so I ate my breakfast. I actually ate late. I've never usually eat at like 10 o'clock, but I did today. I had my egg whites and my spinach and a little like whole wheat wrap thing. And I had like a quarter of an avocado. And then I set my timer for two o'clock. I'm not eating. So when that goes off, I can eat again. So I, it just tells me, I'm like, okay, I'm going to eat it too. So oh, it's not two. I can't eat. Like that's kind of like the brain I get into. Um, yeah, that's, a good, that's a great tactic because, you know, a lot of us find uh, ourselves grazing. Oh my God, do you hear the cat? <laughs> right. I mean, we just kind of like, eh, oh, there's a, something sitting around. So I just say, well, it's not two, I can't eat. And it's just sort of weird how that helps me. Now at two o'clock, if I'm not hungry, but I know it's been, I mean, 10 to two is like four hours. That's a reasonable gap. You know, your body has time to metabolize and get ready for more food. If I'm really not hungry, I may just have something to drink and see when the hunger cues set in, or I could eat. But and then, and then from there, I'll give myself another four or five, probably more like five hours, honestly, from there. I don't know, four or five hours. And then it's like, okay, I've had my three meals. I didn't eat in between. I feel fine. I mean, I feel like I could probably go longer. And then what do I need? Do I need um, a snack or do I just want a snack at that point? So those are just little little additives, I guess. Yeah, I mean these are these are great tips and great things to um, to finish up our sessions. Will you okay. will you hop on with me like every day or every other okay. day? We will we'll get into a schedule. Um, I don't. Yeah, well, let's at least say every other day. Cool. I, I don't care. We can. Um, I just don't know what what's going on with my clients. I'm kind of working with them a little bit. So I think you have an intruder behind you. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> um, hang on. Or okay. All right. Um. This was fun, Jess. Yes, so, this is very good. Let's do this again tomorrow so I can be in pain a little bit more. I promise I'll do the exercises a little bit more diligently and, and better when you're showing them. And now that I see how you're doing this, because this is what I would do with the client. Anyway, see how you move and what you got and what you can do. I don't give it a little tweak or, you know, whatever. Just change it up. Just something same but different. Fun. Sounds good. Okay. All right, Jess. Thanks, Lee. All right, have a good one. Yep, you too. Bye. Are we still on? I'm trying to figure out how to end the meeting. Here oh. we are. Okay, we'll do it again. Bye. Oh.